Not in the chicken block. I don't know what kind of block. Precisely. Twenty-two. I'm going to finish my speech, inshallah, at quarter past four. Is that okay? Yeah. Well, it's quarter past four. If you reach it, tell me if it's quarter past four. I don't have a door from you. I may have my phone or phone that I can tell. So when it gets to around quarter past four, just bring me an inshallah, and I will finish. I don't want to take too long of your time. We've been sat here for a while. Those of you who are somewhat of patience and remain, those who are hungry, add and look. Alhamdulillah, you are here, Allah reward you, Allah give you Najari Azim. That you are sat in the house of Allah Ta'ala uh, in a very blessed, at a very blessed time, the time when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam entered this year. Allah give us all for the to act upon what I have said. Allah forgive us for any of our wrongdoings and shortcomings. Ultimately, all three is from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, we praise Him, 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 and we pray to Him. And we pray to Allah from the sins of our sins, and from the sins of our sins, and from the sins of our sins, and from the sins of our sins. And we pray to Allah that we are the Lord, and we pray to Allah, and we pray to Allah, and we pray to Allah. ونشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا ومأوانا وملجأنا محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبارك وسلم أبدا ما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقال تعالى في القرآن المجيد وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين وقال تعالى في مقام آخر لعمرك إنه لفي سكرتهم يعمرون وقال تعالى في مقام آخر في شكل حديث وآمرا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين آمنت بالله صلى الله عليه وسلم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم الأمين ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وصحبه يا سيدي يا حبيب الله أو لا يصل وصل دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم وكلهم من رسول الله مقرس غرفا من البحر أو غرشا من الديام فمبلغ العلم فيه أنه بشر وأنه خير خلق الله كلهم يا أكرم الخلق ما لمن ألوه به سوى فإن خلو الحاجة الأمر فهو الذي تم معناه وصورته ثم اصطفاه حبيب بارئ النسب الحمد لله من شخص من عدم ثم الصلاة ولا المخار في القدام ولا يصل وصل دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق بلغ الأولى بكماله كشفت برجا بجماله حسنت جميع خصاله سلوا عليه وآله يا صاحب الجمال ويا سيد البشر من وجهك المنير فقد قوّر الكمر لا يمكن الصلاة كما كان حكمه بعد اسقنا بذرك ويكسى مختصر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم after praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending infinite salutations, peace and blessing upon the best of creation. And we love of Allah Almighty, the goodness of our eyes, the purpose of our life. The reviver of our hearts, the inspirer to our mind, the most honored one, the most praised one, the most revered one. Without you being the most beautiful one, but other than Sayyiduna, or Nabiuna, or Habibuna, or Habibu Rabbina, وطبيبنا وطبيب قلوبنا 
and anything that Rasulullah accepts, makes the rule, Allah Ta'ala accepts it. Allah Ta'ala accepts it so much that so many centuries have passed by, hundreds of years have passed by, and people are still singing this poem today. <coughs> The Sultan goes to Rumi, divine acceptance. If divinely accepted by Allah Ta'ala, then it's human like Imam Busiya. Everybody knows Basila Gurba. It's called Basila Gurba. Gurba means cloak. Basila means point. Why are they called Basila Gurba? Because when Imam Busiya read this, and the Mili Salam accepted this, and was listening to it, the Mili Salaam Salaam took off their cloak and he gave it to Imam Husini as a gift. When Imam Husini and Rukullah they woke up, they found the cloak was with them and Allah Ta'ala had shown them to the barakah of that cloak from letters. Allah had shown them from the illness. They woke up and they were walking, well, walking around perfectly fine. Look at how Mut'ahida, how much Yameen, certainty Imam Busiri had in the Prophet ﷺ. That Nabi Salaam Salaam accepted his poetry. Nabi Salaam Salaam accepted what he had written in praise for the Prophet ﷺ. And some of the things that Imam Busiri said, Allah Akbar, Imam Busiri said, دعائل الله فالمستمسكون به فالمستمسكون بحبل غير منفصل منفصل إما بسيرة دعائل الله مين كونك الله كونك الله كونك الله قال القرآن سيقولي يا أيها النبي إنا رسلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله داعيا داعي إلى الله إمام مزيري said الله تعالى has called you and referred to you as داعي إلى الله you call people to Allah you call them to Allah بإذن he used this permission إمام مزيري said داعا إلى الله he calls to the way of Allah فالمستمسكون به the Prophet is Salaam calls you to Allah and he tells you pray five times a day, fast in Ramadan. The Prophet of Allah is going to tell you, obey your parents. The Mir Salaam is calling you to Allah. Imam Hussein then said, Al Muslim Sikuna bihi, is himself. Hold on to him. Imam Hussein said, Hold on to him. Then he said, Why? You know what you're holding on to? Al Muslim Sikuna bihi, humbly. Ghayrul Fasi. You know what you're holding on to? But the Muslims say, Una, we have to make you holding on to a rope that will never detach, will never break. You know, this rope is a Prophet of Allah said. And Allah Ta'ala said what in the Quran? وَعَقَصِهُ بِحَمْدِ اللَّهِ Hold on to the rope of Allah. And Imam Hussein and Bukhullah are saying, What is the rope of Allah? The Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Habibullah, Nabi alayhi salatu sallam. Imam Muslim is saying, Nabi alayhi salam is calling us all to Allah. Hold on to him. For when you're holding on to a Prophet alayhi salam, you're holding on to a rope that will never be touched from Allah. It will never disconnect from Allah Almighty. Look at the aqeedah of Imam Muslim. This is Imam Muslim's aqeedah. If this was wrong, you think the Mili Salaam would be able to go You think millions around the world would be singing this poem today? This itself tells you that the Akira me and you follow is the Akira of Imam Husini Ahmadullah. <coughs> and the Akira that Imam Husini Ahmadullah has spoken about is the Akira that Rasulullah Salaam Salaam accepted. And the Akira that the Mili Salaam was Salaam accepts is the Akira that Allah Ta'ala has accepted. 
Because we believe in Rasul al -Rukmi. We believe we take Rasulullah as an intermediary, we take their means for Allah Ta'ala. Some people say, I want to go direct. Go direct. What guarantee do you have? You are telling me you will go direct, guarantee me you got that. Allah Ta'ala in the Quran, they say, He said, Ut Uni as a Jibnakum. Make dua to me, I will answer for you. No problem. You may go out to Allah Ta'ala, I will answer it. When will Allah Ta'ala answer it? Allah Ta'ala has a new one very new. Sometimes Allah Ta'ala answers it straight away. Sometimes after a year, you see the people of Shaykh Allah. You see what Allah will. Whatever He wills, that's what will happen. But there is a guarantee in the Quran that Allah gives me. That guarantee in the Quran that Allah Ta'ala gives us. Is if you go to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you go to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will get to Allah. Look at Allah Ta'ala in the Quran, that walau anna huf is zalamu an fusahu jahamuka. Walau anna huf is zalamu an fusahu jahamuka. And if they have wronged themselves, if they have, wrong themselves, if they have done zulm on themselves, if they have done wrong things, Jaunka, where do they come to? They come to you. Now, if we stop here, there is nobody sitting here who has wronged himself. We all don't sit. Whether in open, whether in secret, we all make mistakes. But people say, if you make a sin, ask Allah to forgive you. No matter. Allah Ta'ala is Ghat Muzul. He is a forgiver of sin. No shakir. He is Qatir al-Uyub. The one who covers the ayat. Tabar al-Uyub, Ghafar al-Zulub. Allah Ta'ala. It is Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala said, if you have wronged yourself, they come to you. They come to you. What do they do? Masar for Allah. When they come to you, if going to the Prophet is bad and wrong, then Allah would never have mentioned this. If going to the Bili Salat or Salat is wrong, are you taking the Bili Salat or Salat's Wasila is wrong, then Allah would never have mentioned this. They come to you. What do they do when they come to you? Fasar for Allah. They say, Ya Allah, forgive me. Allah, forgive me. Allah, forgive me. They do is a fire where you are. Was that for the Lord Rasul? And not only are they doing istighfar to Allah Ta'ala, but you know where you've gone? You know that blessed place? The great one that is resting there? The greatest of creation? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also was istighfar to you. He lays salat to salam and says, Ya Allah, forgive my ummati, forgive my ummati, forgive my ummati. وَاسْتَغْفَرَ لَهُمُ الرَّسُولُ So you wrong yourself when you go to Prophet Muhammad what do you do? Stay far. See the process. You have to realize you've been wrong. When you go to, when you take a wrong turn, you've got to know who to go to to take a right turn. We have been wrong turns in our life, we go to Prophet Muhammad. When we go to the Bili Salat al Salam, then the Mary Salam has told us what to do is take fall. And then Allah Ta'ala gives a guarantee. What's not for Allah who will rasul? La wa jahu Allah. La. La has to me yet. Emphasize. No doubt they will find Allah. If they wrong themselves, they come to you. What will they find? Allah will find. They will find the Rahmat of Allah Ta'ala where you are. They will find the forgiveness of Allah right where you are. This is a guarantee Allah Ta'ala is giving. That if you go to Rasulullah who will you find? Allah Almighty. So when they say, oh, how can you say this? Allah Ta'ala is everywhere. No, no. Allah Ta'ala is everywhere. And He says, 
نحن أقرب إليه من الحمد لله ولي. We are closer to him than they. نحن أقرب إليه من الحمد لله ولي. We are close, أقرب, very close to them than الحمد لله ولي. الحمد لله ولي. This is the devil man. Now this man here, if you were to cut this man, you die. It's a very, very key, important man for you to be alive. It's called the devil man. This is when you slaughter an animal, you cut that way. And that's where the most bird can come from. Allah Ta'ala said, we are closer to you than you did not make. Make dua to me wherever you are, and the dua will be accepted. We are all accepted. We are not rejected. For the only as the did not. Ujibu Dr. Kardari, Zadaan, and we answer the dua of the man who is calling, right? He makes dua. No doubt. For one guarantee, there's no guarantee. Allah Ta'ala has told us. But there's no guarantee whether your Tawbah has been accepted. There's no guarantee of when you will get it. But that in which ayat of the Quran, Allah gives you a guarantee. That guarantee is if you go to Rasulullah Alayhi Salaatu Salaam, La wa Allah, you will find Allah Ta'ala. You will find Allah Ta'ala's Rahmat is there. Allah Almighty's mercy is there, forgiveness is there, the blessings of Allah Ta'ala are there. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, over 70,000 angels, every morning and every evening, come upon my messenger. Send Salawat and they will never return. Those who come in the morning, will never come back ever again in the evening. And those who come in the evening, will not come back anymore. They only have one opportunity. How fortunate are we? We can go every year to give salam, yet we don't go. <coughs> we have the money to go and do umrah, but we don't do it. We have the money to go and do hajj, but we don't do it. These angels only once in their lifetime are they allowed to go, and never again. And Allah Ta'ala has given me and you the ikhtiyar. Allah has given us the opportunity and choice. You earn money, book your ticket, and go. And uh, only book a ticket and go. What do we do? We delay. You say, I ain't ready yet. I ain't ready yet. I ain't ready yet. When I'm ready, I'll do my own work. Yes. We are saying, when you are ready, do your own work. It will be better than when you're not ready. But when if you're not ready and you go, and then you come back ready? When if you come back ready, then what? They're going to say, that's the best 800,000 pounds that I've ever spent. Because I went not ready. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sent me back there. I went to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa and made dua at the blessed grave. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sent me back ready. Allah Akbar Khabira. Amazing, isn't it? Why, do, why are we scared to take a step? You should wait that step. You never know. Where Allah could guide you in what way in whom way? Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. They will find Allah Akbar. How? Tawbah wa Rahima. You came to do Tawbah, you will find that Allah is most forgiving. You came for Rahmah, you will find that Allah is most Where will you find Him? At the Prophet of Allah. Wherever Rasulullah is, Salaam is, Salaam is, Allah Ta'ala is. With Allah Ta'ala said, in Allah, the name of the hell, of the name. Allah is close to the people who will be good. And the one who is Ahsan of the name. The one who has done the most good from the good people is Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nobody has done more ihsan than Nabi alayhi salatu salam. Nobody has done more good than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. Look at Imam Muzhiri Ahmadullah alayhi wa sallam. The da'a ila Allahi fa al-musamsikuna bihi fa al-musamsikuna bihamdi al-layri wa al-fasl. Then he said, فَمَبْلَهُ الْعِلْمِ فِيهِ أَنَّهُ بَشَرٌ وَأَنَّهُ خَيْرُ خَلْفِ اللَّهِ كُلِّهِ There is a big issue today. The Prophet is a human like me and you. The Prophet is normal like me and you. The Prophet, people are saying it. And they put it post on Facebook and Twitter. Oh, he's like me and you, he's like me and you. The Prophet said, I am like you. The Prophet said, I am like you. Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam, 
when they were in the summit of the way, they said, La ilaha illa subhanaka, inni kuntu min al La ilaha illa Allah. There is no right to worthy of worship except you. Subhanak, glorified are you, pure are you. Inni kuntu min al I am from the Zali. And the Nabi of Allah Ta'ala is saying he is from the Zalimi. And the Nabi of Allah Ta'ala is saying this out of ajizi and humility. You see the humbleness of the Prophet of Allah to the universe. Now can me and you say that he is a Zalim? If they themselves call themselves out of humility, this was their humbleness. Can we say they are Zalim now? It is disrespectful. Who gives you the right to call a prophet of Allah Zahir? He said because the prophet of Allah called himself. He did it out of humility. What are you doing it out of? You're not expressing humility. You're doing it out of disrespect. So if saying Hazrat Yunus is a Zahir makes you disrespectful, even though they said it. Now the Mir Salaam Salaam said, I am a human like you. They send this out of humbleness, humility. Does that give me and you the right to say he's like me and you? No. If it doesn't give me and you the right to say to say that you will say it's around, then what gives you the right to say to the Imam of Sayyidina you What gives you the right then? Allah for Mablahul in me fini and the whole basha. Mablahul in the limited knowledge you have in regards to him. Is that the Allah who is a human? Your Mabla Hukim, your knowledge tells you that he was a human. The Mir Salaam Salaam said, the Mir Salaam Salaam said, the Mir Salaam Salaam walked, the Mir Salaam Salaam talked, the Mir Salaam Salaam got married, the Mir Salaam Salaam had children, the Mir Salaam Salaam would bleed, the Mir Salaam Salaam would drink, the Mir Salaam Salaam would own. What do we do? Your knowledge tells you that he is a human. No doubt. So remember, Nabi Ali Salatu Salam is eating, sleeping, blessed eating, blessed sleeping. Nabi Ali Salatu Salam is blessed walking. They, every other, every action of theirs, on the apparent is like ours, but in reality it isn't. Because even our walking is not like the Prophet of Allah said to walk. But soon the Nabi Salaam was around, the walk was unique. The way Nabi Salaam was around, the was so unique. And it was so unique. And Allah Ta'ala wants us to follow Rasulullah Salaam, but Allah Ta'ala is saying, in the Quran, if you claim to love me, then follow the Prophet. Follow him. So you eat like the Prophet would eat. There is nobody in this world that is more followed than the Prophet We eat namaz because that's the way Rasulullah is not meant We eat because that's the way the Mir is not meant If we sit down and eat with three fingers, that's because the Mir is not meant to If we take three sips, because the Mir is not meant to three sips. If we wash every part three times in wudu, it's because the Nabi Salaam Salaam washed it three times. As Muslims, we do what the Prophet Sallallahu did. And what they did was that. On the other it seems as though he is a new. Imam that would end with me and the Mubasha because the Nabi Salaam would walk off him. But Imam Zini and the Buddha, they said, Anna hu khayn khalki lahi kulli. No doubt the Nabi Salaam Salaam was a human. They had human quality and characteristics. But they weren't just ordinary human, but they were superhuman. The Mir Salaam Salaam could see. The Mir Salaam Salaam had two eyes, they could see. The Mir Salaam Salaam would be standing in front of them, looking ahead and then saying, Don't do such a thing before me. Muhammad was saying, The Mir Salaam said, Inni awaku min wawadi zakari. I can see you from behind me as well. In the world, the Mir Salaam is connected to Allah Ta'ala, but they're thinking about the Ummah Ta'ala. 
وإذا ما شو بزوجت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من ظهر قبري ما جابت له شفاعتي وإذا بزوجتني ما شفاعتي بكل واجب على ترى ميز أوتو في to go to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and first resting place and send salawat and salawat to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم وأقول قولي هذا صلى الله عليه وسلم ولكم وأخذ أبانا لحبه